What's up everybody, Noah Kaiser back here from my review of the brand new Hallmark Movies and Mysteries film, Family History Mysteries, Buried Past. This might be the start of a brand new series, I'm hoping. This is a really good one starring Janelle Parrish and Niall Mater. This is all about genealogist uh, named Sophie McLaren, played by Janelle Parrish. And, she, and she's an expert in bringing families together. When her close friend Jonathan urgently needs to find a bone marrow donor, the case becomes personal because now his brother is in town to help f find a match. And it could either be his mom, his brother, played by N Niall Mater, or his father, who they are looking for, who has long been thought to have passed away. But the mother was told some things, and she never told her sons that he could probably still be alive. So now it's up to Sophie McLaren and now Mater to basically find him. This is a really interesting mystery. Hallmark Channel movies and mysteries never do something like this. It's mostly a murder mystery. It's mostly, okay, this person was killed. We need to find out who did it and their motive. This is a really good film. This is a family drama mixed in with a mystery because we don't get a whole lot of these stories. Janelle Parrish is really, really good in here as Sophie McLaren. I liked her in all of her Hallmark films so far. She hasn't had one bad film in my eyes. Family History Mysteries it delves into uh, a really interesting story here because after they find out that the father could still be alive, it's really interesting how they go about it. What they also do is they introduce a very, very good two romance story subplots here. One involving uh, one involving so Sophie's friend, uh, her colleague, who she, she has just given her first assignment to. And by the way, they don't go into that very much, but I'll get to that in just a minute. But the romance storyline, the plot, the subplot between her friend and the doctor is very well done because I was afraid we wouldn't get a payoff that they were going to string it on for multiple multiple films however they do it very very well in this film the chemistry between those two is tremendous they made me smile it's very awkward seeing them interact because they both like each other however they're just very awkward including the doctor who's the most awkward because he doesn't know what to say to women but family history mysteries does dive into another romance where we know where it's going. We don't get an actual legitimate kiss between our two leads here, but we know we're getting it, hopefully in the next film. Family History Mysteries does do a very good job of getting you sucked into this mystery. Is the father alive? Who is the father? Are we going to get a look at, at the... What, what what am I trying to say here? Are we going to get into a forgiveness storyline? Because the one brother named Jonathan, who, who needs the bone marrow donor, he's not very into the, this idea because he's basically like, well, my father was not there for me growing up. Why would he be there for me now? Now Mater, his brother named Jackson, says, yeah, but we want you to stay alive. We will worry about our father's Di disappearance after you're okay very well done story there as well i enjoyed this overall there is a couple issues here and the issue is they don't dive into the case uh that her that her co-worker colleague was given by her they don't dive into it. it's more like okay it's solved on to the next thing they don't dive into it you don't get a whole ton with that, and I thought you could have done a bit more with it. They don't really do a good job of getting you so intrigued with their romance after they get together. They kind of get together and they throw that away. It's nicely done. However, I thought you could have done a bit more of a very happy ending between the uh, the minor characters, the supporting characters' romance. And I think we will get that maybe in the second film. If we get a second film, the Rings were very, very good for Hallmark movies and mysteries, though. They got a uh, they got a 1.01, which for that to be a Hallmark movies and mysteries mystery movie, that's really good. The last one that they did that that was a mystery didn't do very well at all at 0.73, but for Hallmark movies and mysteries, that's not awful either. 
The other mystery that they did that didn't do very well. Uh, let me look at last year's. We had Cut Color Murder with Julie Gonzalo at 1.28. Aurora Tea Garden Mysteries Haunted by Murder, 1.75. Curious Caterer Dying for Chocolate at 1.17. We also had Francesca Quinn P.I. at 0 0.91. And the lowest one, which I thought was the best one, was Nikki and Nora's Sister Sluice at 0 0.73. Not including the Christmas ones, did very, very well against the other ones. But, I'm going to highly recommend you watch this home. It's very well done. I enjoyed this a lot. I can't wait to see if we get an, a, another film in the Family History Mysteries series. I'm hoping we do. We do get a bit of a deep, a deeper look into what the next film could be about involving Sophie and, and her mother who has passed away. She has not opened a package she opens the package, and we hear the letter. I'm hoping we get a bit more into that storyline, as well as another mystery, but we'll see. I'm hoping we get another one. I'm going to give Family History Mysteries Buried Past a B+. I really did enjoy this one. I can't wait to see where we go with the Movies and Mysteries films. We do have one more film coming out uh, in the mystery genre. I don't know if A Nashville Legacy is a mystery. It is a Hallmark Mahogany film, but we'll see. We have Curious Caterer Grilling Season with Nikki Deloche and Andrew Walker returning on February 5th, and I'm going to check here, see if it's the same director. It is not the same director, but it's the same cast. I'm looking forward to that one. I enjoyed the first one overall. I didn't love it as much as everybody else did. I do want to re-watch it maybe before the new one comes out. But there you go, everybody. There is my review of the brand new Hallmark Movies and Mysteries film, Family History Mysteries that Buried Past, and I cannot wait to see where they go. But stay tuned because I got two more reviews, two more new release reviews coming your way, including for the brand new GAC film, A Prince in Paradise, and of course, Reba McIntyre's, uh, the new Lifetime film, Reba McIntyre's The Hammer. I will see you guys next time.